Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Of Course, your girl cooking with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate chipotle burrito bowl. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. First one up is our chicken breast. As you can see, it's thinly sliced. It's been washed, cleaned, and packed dried. And we also have our rice. I'm going to be using parboiled rice for this particular recipe. However, feel free to sub with brown rice, jasmine rice, basmati rice, totally optional. For our veggies, quick and easy, we have some romaine lettuce, jalapenos, lime, red onions, Roma tomatoes. Yes, we have the tomatoes on deck. And we also have our fresh cilantro. Now for our condiments, we have our guacamole, melted cheese, and we also have some salsa, which can be subbed with mild or spicy salsa, totally optional. Black beans, of course, sub with whatever beans you prefer, whether it be pinto beans, red beans, so on and so forth. We also have some Mexican style, AKA taco cheese, along with our seasonings, adobo, onion powder, garlic powder, taco seasoning, paprika, cumin, oregano, and chicken bouillon, ground black pepper, and oil. With all of that being said, let's get to cooking. Water has come to a rolling boil, so it's about that time. We're gonna add a little pinch of salt to the water, give it some flavor, just a little bit of oil. And we're gonna add our rice. Remember the measurements. Two cups of water to one cup of rice. Give it a good mix. halfway cover it on down because guess what if you do this right here is a possibility once everything starts to come to a rolling boil once again it's gonna bubble on over and make such a mess so the best thing is open it up halfway and you'll be good to go allow it to sit here and do its thing in the meanwhile we got some veggies to chop up because we gotta make some guess what pico de gallo we're gonna take the stems off place it to the side and we need to focus solely on the cilantro leaves all right boil it on up and get the chopping get in there some more chop it up really finely and this cilantro right here is going to work not only for our rice but we're also going to be using it for our pico as well all right that's perfect we are going to work on dicing up these red onions for my pico de gallo, I love to incorporate red onions. The flavor is a little bit more pungent. Nevertheless, it's still the absolute compliment when making fresh salsa. All right, it's time to get in there and get that tomato. I want you guys to get in the habit of washing your veggies. If you're already doing it, then hey, do your thing. But if you're not, get into the habit of washing those veggies off because you wanna remove not only the dirt, but you wanna remove all of those pesticides and other elements that does not belong on your veggies. I don't care if you have to wash it off in salt water to let's say kill whatever, or even get some water along with some apple cider vinegar and do it that way. We are gonna slice these tomatoes on up. It's time for us to work with Mr. Jalapeno. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the top. And of course, we're gonna discard it. We're gonna slice it right down the middle. These seeds right here and the membrane is what contains all of the heat. So guess what? If we get in there and we remove it, we're still gonna have a slight heat factor, but it's just not gonna be as much. The best way to remove the seeds and the membrane is to use a gloved hand. Now, if you don't have gloves, definitely be careful. You don't wanna get in there and use your beer hands because if your hands are sensitive, it's gonna cause irritation. Not to mention, if you scratch your face or your eyes, it's gonna be a wrap for you. Be sure to remove as many seeds as you want and get that membrane on out of there. All right, perfect. We're gonna get that lime and we're gonna cut it straight down the middle. We're gonna add everything to a bowl. We're gonna incorporate it and we're gonna put everything together in one, two, three. First thing we're gonna add to this bowl is our tomatoes. Add the tomatoes. <laughs> our red onions, our cilantro, and jalapenos. After everything was placed into the bowl, I realized, you know what? Get in there and get the other half of that tomato. By the way, check out the color contrast. Absolutely gorgeous. Place the lime into the lime squeezer and let's get to squeezing. Hit it off with a fresh squeeze of lime juice and we are gonna be good to go. 
We're gonna also hit it off with a pinch of salt. Give it a good mix and we are done. We're gonna place this to the side as well. And in the meanwhile, we are gonna check on our rice. It's been a couple minutes later and our rice is finished. Using a strainer, we are gonna drain it on off and this is perfect texture right here. Once we're finished, we're gonna take it from the strainer, add it back to the pot and place it on the stovetop or place it on the countertop. I mean, after all, we're not doing any more cooking when it comes to the rice. Chop some more cilantro, guys, and this is going to be for our cilantro lime rice. Our ricey rice. Yes, boys. It's going to be for our rice. <laughs> chop it on up. Chop it on up. Okay. So this rice, we are going to add the cilantro right here. If you don't like cilantro, guys, you're missing out big time. All right, we're going to add a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. What am I talking about? We're going to add a fresh squeeze of lime juice, just like that. We're going to get in there with our spatula. We're going to incorporate everything. Make sure everything is perfectly mixed on in there. Mix it on in there. Mix it on in there. Let's get it. Now, here's the thing. We added the salt already to the water when we were, like, literally getting ready to boil the rice. So there is no need to add any more salt. We're done. First thing we're gonna do with our chicken breast is we are gonna add a small drizzle of oil, just like that. We're gonna add our adobo. Season to taste, of course. And yes, adobo has salt content, so you wanna be mindful of that as well. We're also gonna add our onion powder. When it comes to the non-salted seasonings, feel free to utilize as much as you need according to the amount of chicken or protein that you're working with. We're going to add our garlic powder. We're going to add our taco seasoning. Add that taco seasoning. And just in case you're wondering, where does she get taco seasoning from? This is a taco seasoning packet that I'm using. Mm -hmm. Nothing more, nothing less. Perfect. Along with our paprika. And this is not smoked paprika. It's just regular paprika for that nice, you know, orangey, reddish color. Along with cumin. Now, here's the thing. When you're adding your ground cumin, you're not going to add too much, all right? Have a light hand when you are adding your cumin. Ground oregano, same thing applies. Light hand, guys, light hand. All right. We're going to add some freshly cracked black pepper. Along with a little pinch of chicken bouillon for that nice chicken flavor. And we're going to take our hands and pat it on in there, just like that. Pat it on in there. Make sure it's stuck and stick and stuck, all right? <laughs> Pat it in, pat it in. Lock those flavors one in there. Just like that. Flip a root time, flip it on over. Boom. Same thing goes for one side along with the other side. Whatever goes for one side is gonna work on the other side. So, same thing applies. Add that drizzle of oil, followed by some adobo. All right, we getting it, we getting it. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Boom. Taco seasoning. Just like that. Add the taco seasoning, boy. Gotta shake it on out. He ain't trying to come out, so we gotta go in there and Give it that little extra reinforcement. All right, paprika once again. Add the pat pat. Ground cumin, once again, that light hand applies to both front and back. Same thing goes when it comes down to the oregano. Add a little bit more oil, it's a little dry. All right, just like that. 
We're going to hit it off with some ground black pepper as well. A little bit of chicken bouillon as well. We're going to allow it to sit here for about three to five minutes, only because I want all of those nice flavors from the seasonings to be locked on into the chicken all right now here's another thing this is one of those recipes where if you want to pre-season your chicken let's say a couple hours before and place it back into the refrigerator you can do that as well it's going to be perfectly seasoned trust me and yeah that's about it we're going to get our cast iron skillet hot and ready and we're going to see these bad boys on up our cast iron skillet is nice and hot and that's what we're looking for we're going to add a small drizzle of oil Spread that oil all over the pan and we're going to place our chicken breast into the pan. Now here's the thing, in order to sear this chicken on up, the pan needs to be extremely hot. So how are we going to heat our pan up? We're going to heat it on up on high heat, all right? Once we get the chicken on in there because it's thinly sliced, we at that point in time are going to lower our flame to like a medium heat. Only because we don't want to burn our chicken. We want it to remain nice and moist. Because a chicken breast is fairly thinly sliced, not to mention our cast iron skillet is extremely hot. We're gonna cook this chicken for about a minute and a half to about two minutes on each side. Once we're done, we're gonna flip it on over, allow it to cook for another minute to a minute and a half. Also, the cooking time on the chicken breast depends on the size or the thickness of the chicken. If the chicken breast that you're gonna be using for this recipe is sliced a little bit thicker, you're gonna obviously cook it for a little bit more. And if the chicken breast is sliced a little bit thinner, you're gonna set that cooking time for a little bit less. So yeah, everything depends on the size of the chicken. But nevertheless, just make sure it's cooked all the way through. We're gonna take our chicken out of the pan and place it onto our cutting board. We're not gonna cut into the chicken just yet, because we want all of those juices to remain within the chicken. So we're gonna allow the chicken to rest for about three to five minutes before slicing it one up. And yeah, continue watching and I'll show you how to put your burrito bowl together in 2.5 seconds. We have our romaine lettuce and this lettuce right here is gonna give us the ultimate crunch. Not only is it great on presentation, but that crunchy effect be on point. All right, we're just going to take it basically and don't forget, wash it on off, all right? Wash it before you use it. And we're just going to cut into it just like that. And that right there, my friends, is it. I love the crunchy, not to mention not only the texture, but just the look of it, the aesthetic of it is absolutely beautiful. All righty, what we're going to do is we're going to place our chicken right on the top of each other. We're going to slice into it, just like that. Check out all of those beautiful juices, not to mention the chicken is perfectly cooked. We are in business, guys. Yes, we are. Alrighty, slice it one up. This burrito bowl is going to be epic. First thing we're going to add to our bowl is our cilantro lime rice. Add a good amount because guess what? You're the one that's making it. It's not like you're buying it and you have to turn around and ask them to add some more rice, all right? Ain't no time to be skimpy. Add as much as you like. All righty. Boom. Perfect. We're going to add some corn right here. Mm-hmm. along with our beans. We're gonna add our pico de gallo. Our guacamole, of course. And of course, we are gonna add our chicken. Mm -hmm. The main star of the show. And we're gonna add our lettuce right here. 
have a little space right there, so I'm going to add my cheese right there. I'm going to add a little bit of that spicy salsa. Not too much. Now we're going to hit it off with our melted cheese. And we have a small dollop of sour cream that we're going to put right here. And what the heck, we're going to go nuts when it comes to the chicken. All right, guys? We're going to add that chicken. This is our bowl, and we are going to do what we want to do and how we want to do it. All right? Mm-hmm. Now, if that's not a burrito bowl, I don't know what is. Definitely give this recipe a try, guys. Absolutely quick and easy, and most importantly, so delicious. As always, I'm your girl, Cooking with Tammy, and I will definitely catch you guys in another video. It's time to eat. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.